Hello and welcome to Geek Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorials, we're going to explore Flame Painter 2 Pro. This is application that allowed you to expand your creativity by drawing, create very interesting shapes. Um, depend on your settings, you can apply this over your other pictures or create unique pictures or images just inside these applications. So let's begin by looking over the interface. You'll notice we have a top navigation drop down menu. By clicking on the item, you can expand and access specific properties. Some of these properties which allow the high key so you can access or some you can access directly from other menus. The other menus is included the tool panel, palette, brushes, layers. We have a main view with our workspace located and this view can be changed. So you can create a new by clicking File New where you can specify a size, background layer if you have it, and DPI. Um, if you're using the demo version, which is free, some of those options is locked. As well, some of them only available in a pro version. I highly recommend for you to get pro version and uh, in a future tutorials I explain why, but overall it does work to get those additional options as a vector and other um, effects that will help you to create much easier and give you way more flexibility for this application. So as we look on interface, you'll notice as a drop down, but you notice this tools tab, palette, brushes, and layers. They're in preset spaces. However, you can modify them and change positions. To do this, you just needed to click on them and drag out. And you notice how the space increase and decrease. So you can create them as a flooring. You can put them back on place, change spaces, or if you go over them, you can see the highlights. They will create as additional tab. Again, to do this, to disconnect, you need to go on with the orange name, click, drag, and again, position the way you like it. I highly recommend for you to kind of customize and set as you like it. For example, right here, we have a different set of brushes, and this is presets. In many work time, I found that I don't use them as much. So I do like take this and probably put it as a top behind my tools. So I can access when I need it by clicking and it's give me full expand. But at the same time, it's really more space for me to work with my layers or my palette. So you also can change scale of each um, frame by moving your mouse till it's the the resizing tool up here by clicking and drag you can readjust so it's very straightforward how you can customize this and of course this customization will help you to create um, easy access to some options and create better images